The nice thing about the wild animals at Zimbali is they are very habituated to humans. Monkeys are an integral part of any system. At Zimbali, you've got over 200 different monkeys. The last time they did a count, they identified seven different gangs within the estate. Those would roam within the estate as well as going over the fence and outside of the estate. But dustbins being easy pickings, they generally stick to where food is easily available. They survive on small mammals, cat rats and mice, lizards. One of the biggest problems we have with the monkey population on the estate at the moment is birds' nests, especially our guinea fowl. The monkeys would tend to raid their nests and they eat the eggs. You've also got the indigenous trees which provide a lot of the wild fruit which the monkeys would feed on, as well as the vegetation that they feed on naturally. The estate would easily sustain a good population of monkeys without human interference or rubbish to feed on. In the evening when the sun starts to go down, the monkeys would roost climb to the top of one of the taller trees that would hold the whole troop for the night. They've generally got bad night vision. And within their home range, they would probably have three or four roosting sites. Monkeys are difficult to control and difficult to manage because they are extremely intelligent. They learn very quickly. You can put something up to deter a monkey, but it'll only take him one or two attempts to figure out that he's got a problem in this spot and he'll find another window to climb into. They don't have enough food in the wild, so they now come to the easy pickings of our houses. We've created the habitat around our houses. People don't seal their bins properly, so every Tuesday the monkeys do a road patrol. We encourage all of our members to ensure that their dustbins are strapped when they do put them out on the road verge because all we're providing is a readily available food source allowing the monkeys to breed quicker. They are overpopulating. We should really only have between 50 and 80 odd monkeys on this estate, but it's a far bigger estate. And monkeys know no boundaries. They can climb anywhere and they can go anywhere. They're far better behaved than humans, and remember, we're a primate, just like them. They do no harm, and yes, they do come close to you, and if you're a woman, they'll take more advantage. The monkeys generally tend to respond and react a lot better when you've got a male presence in the house. It's possible to put up screening, then you can keep your windows open and keep the monkeys out. If the monkeys do pose a problem and they get into the house, our security crew have been trained and they are very effective at coming in and chasing them out. Because they work within their particular boundary, they generally come past an area once or sometimes twice a week. So you also quickly learn their habits. We're trying to manage a habitat within an urban situation. You don't want the monkeys out, you actually want the monkeys. Because without them you don't have crowned eagles breeding in certain places because there isn't enough prey. It really is a hassle and the biggest problem is the humans that come here knowing what this is and then try to change it. The monkeys were here first and we have taken over their space. We need to remember living here. The whole idea of the estate when it was initially developed was to live together with nature. As difficult as they can be at times, we do need to learn to work together with the monkeys and live together with them peacefully.